Mother's Day this weekend and ahead of the holiday, our Julia Borston's got a look at the company supporting moms the most. Hi, Julia. Hi, Carl. Well, happy Mother's Day. Not so much for working moms. Now, Silicon Valley tech giants like to tout their generous benefits programs, but new analysis from Just Capital reveals just three companies in the Russell 1000 offer a comprehensive set of policies aimed at really supporting working mothers and families. Into it, U.S. Bank Corp. and Lilly each offer 16 weeks of paid parental leave for primary caregivers, plus at least 10 weeks for secondary caregivers, paid sick leave, backup dependent care, subsidized child care, and flexible scheduling. Access to child care and paid leave are among the top obstacles working women face, according to Just Capital polling, and they serve as key tools for retaining talent as well as for boosting performance, say various experts. Now, the data bear this out. The labor force participation rate for mothers with children under age 18 was about 73% in 2022. That's 20 percentage points behind the labor force participation rate for fathers with children under age 18. The economic impact of this goes far beyond working women and their families. The annual cost of the infant toddler child care crisis adds up to $122 billion in lost earnings, productivity and revenue. And that gap is growing up 50 percent since 2018, according to the Bipartisan Council for a Strong America. So improving those benefits programs could end up boosting retention and also corporate results. Back over to you. Julie, I feel like one of the best things that companies can do is offer equal father paternity leave or non-birth parent leave to, leave to try to balance the gender equity problem and also the stigma around men leaving for paternity instead of women leaving for maternity leave. Are companies doing this? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Sarah. There's a lot of research showing that it's really important not just to have good maternity leave policies, but really make them parental leave policies. What that does is it sets up from the very beginning that fathers are going to be involved in child care. And it also indicates that you're not going to have um, mm -hmm. a, a be, sort of be held back if you're a woman who decides to take your full parental leave or full maternity mm -hmm. leave. And there have even been studies showing that having really generous maternity leave policies and no parental leave for fathers could end, actually end up growing the gap between men and women. Because if women are off for, say, six months, then they may actually feel behind um, than their male counterparts who don't take off any time when their children are born. So it's really important to have really thoughtful parental leave policies to really even things out for men and women, both at home and also in the workforce. Carl? 100 percent. And management needs to follow these guidelines, too. Set an example, I think, for the whole stigma thing. It's just become sort of part of the culture. Absolutely. Julia, thanks.